rich people problem by Kevin Kwan. She is Bettina ortiz Mania, the former Miss Venezuela and Miss Universe runner-up. The wife of Miami auto parts tycoon Herman ortiz Mania. At every restaurant she chose to grace her presence, she was always greeted with reverence and whisked and except tables she desired and was not accustomed to waiting. Thanks to Rosessar for blessing my eyes today with your beauty. Today, she wanted a corner table and a terrace at Sip Sip, her favorite lunch spot at Harbor Island. She wanted to sit on one of the comfy orange canvas director's chairs and stare out at the gently lapping turquoise waters while eating her kale Caesar salad. But there was a large noisy group taking up the entire terrace, and they didn't seem in much hurry to leave. Bettina fumed as she glared at the tourists happily savoring their lunch in the sun. Look how tacky they were. They were not overly toned and wrinkled and saggy. None of them properly lifted her buttocks. She felt like walking up to their table to hand out her dermatologist business card. Take my dermatologist card. I think your face badly needs this. So rude. The men were even worse, all dressed up in all rumpled shirts and shorts, wearing those cheap straws hats hold at a trinket shot at a Denmark Street. Why did such people have to come here? The three-and-a-half-mile-long paradise with its pristine pinks and beaches was one of the best-kept secrets in the Caribbean. A haven for very rich filled with quaint little wood houses painted in shades of sherbet. Charming boutiques, chic oceanfront mansions turned into inns, and five-star restaurants to rival St. Barth. Tourists should have to take a style exam before being allowed to set foot on the island. Bettina felt that she had been patient long enough and stormed into the kitchen. Julie, honey, what's the dealio? I've waited more than 15 minutes for the table. Sorry, Bettina, it's been one of those days. Mark your job on the cherry showed up first just before he did. He could have been taken the table. But the terrace is your prime spot. Why on earth did you let those tourists take up all that space? Well, that tourist on the red fishing cup is the Duke of Nkora. His party just boated over from Windermere. That's his royal wiseman you see moored off the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you've ever seen? I'm not impressed by big boats, though. So, although secretly she was rather impressed by people with big title. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembled on the terrace with new eyes. These Aristo British types were such a strange breed. Sure, they had their own silver rosettes and their heirloom tiaras, but when they travel, oh, they look so painfully frumpy. It was only then that Bettina noticed Rita, well built man in fitted white t shirt and black Kevlar pants sitting at the adjacent table. The guys weren't eating but sat watchful, sipping glasses of Zeltzler water. I assume that's the Duke's security detail. They couldn't be more obvious. Don't they know that we're all billionaires here on Brin Island and this isn't how we roll? Actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guests. They did a whole sweep of the restaurant before the party arrived. They even searched my walk-in freezer. See the Chinese fellow seated at the end of the table? Bettina squinted through her direct stays and glasses at the party. Balding, 70-something Asian man dressed in a nondescript white short sleeve gold shirt and gray trousers. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Am I supposed to know who is? That's Alfred Chang. He look oh my god. Uh -huh. He looks like the chauffeur. Doesn't he look like that guy that used to drive Jay Wingman around in Falcon Crest? Ha! <laughs> Julie was trying to focus and scaring a cut of tuna to perfection. Shook her head tight deep smile. From what I hear, that chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. What's his name again? And that's the end of the story. This video is presented by Trisha Armstrong from 7-11-8. Thank you for watching.